In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to connect a Chromebook to Wi-Fi so that you can use the internet wirelessly. So, when you're on your Chromebook, you just need to come down to the bottom right hand corner here, and you'll see at the moment Timmy's Chromebook is not connected to Wi-Fi. But if you click on this icon down here, you'll get this menu here, and it's possible that the menu might look like that, but if it looks like that, you just need to click on the up arrow to expand the menu. And now you'll see this Wi-Fi icon here, and it says not connected. If you have Wi-Fi turned off on your Chromebook, the icon might be grayed out instead of blue, but that's okay, it's still the same icon. And regardless of what it looks like, you'll just need to click on it now to go into the Wi-Fi settings. And now you should see a list of the available Wi-Fi networks. So you'll probably see your own Wi-Fi network and a few of the neighbors' Wi-Fis and things like that. But if you had Wi-Fi turned off on your Chromebook, you won't see any of this. If this switch is turned off, it'll just look like that and say Wi-Fi is turned off. But if that's the case, it's not a problem. Just click on the switch to turn it on and It'll take a second to search, but then it'll find all the available Wi-Fi networks. So now you'll just need to find your Wi-Fi network in this list and click on it to begin connecting to it. So Timmy's Wi-Fi network is called Timmy's router. So Timmy will click on that. And now this box will probably pop up asking for the Wi-Fi password. If you're in a cafe or something like that, it's possible that there won't be a password on the Wi-Fi, and if that's the case, this box won't pop up, and your Chromebook will just connect to it straight away. But there will probably be a password, so you'll probably get this box and need to enter your Wi-Fi password. So hopefully you know the Wi-Fi password, and you can just type it in here. But if you don't, you probably have to ask someone else or something like that. If you're connecting to your own home Wi-Fi network and you never created a password for it, you will probably be able to turn the Wi-Fi router upside down and you'll hopefully see the default Wi-Fi password of that router written on a sticker underneath it or something like that. So you could possibly try that. But once you've found your Wi-Fi password and typed it into this box here, the other setting you might want to change is this switch that says allow other users to use this network. So that means anyone who signs into an account on this Chromebook will automatically be able to just connect to this network without having to type in the password or anything. So if you have other people that use this Chromebook and you want to be nice to them and let them use this Wi-Fi network, you probably want to turn it on. But if you're the only one who ever uses it and you just have one account on here, you don't need to worry about this switch because it's irrelevant. But once you've done that, you can just click the connect button and your Chromebook will connect to the Wi-Fi. And it does take a little second, but as you can see down here, we now have full strong signal of Wi-Fi. So now, if you were to open up Google Chrome or any other app that uses the internet, things will load and you'll be able to access the internet. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to connecting your Chromebook to Wi-Fi. But if you're having any problems with this and something's not working, there are a few troubleshooting things you can try. The first one would be to make sure you absolutely definitely typed in the Wi-Fi password correctly. So might want to go back and check that and just double check that you got that right. Or as with a lot of computer problems, you might just need to try turning your Chromebook off and then turning it back on again. And then it might work after it's turned back on. And if this is your Wi-Fi network that you're connecting to, you might also want to try restarting the Wi-Fi router. So if you just go and find your Wi-Fi router, you'll just need to pull the power cord out of the router so it doesn't have power and all the lights go off and then wait a few seconds for it to completely go off and then plug the power back in 
and you will need to wait a few seconds for it to boot back up again and for all the Wi-Fi to start working correctly. But once it turns on again, hopefully that might have fixed something and your Chromebook might be able to connect. Or sometimes you might just need to make your Chromebook completely forget about this Wi-Fi network so it stops trying to connect to it and then go through this entire process again of connecting it and then maybe that'll work. And Timmy has an entire video that Timmy made in the past about how to make a Chromebook forget a Wi-Fi network. So Timmy will put a link to that in the description down below if you want to watch that and give that a try. Or if the signal is too weak, you might need to just move your Chromebook physically closer to the Wi-Fi router and see if you're able to connect then. And then if you want to frequently use your Chromebook somewhere that's too far away from the Wi-Fi router and has really weak signal, you might actually want to consider getting a range extender. But hopefully one of these tips works to fix any problems you had if you were having any problems. And if you want to see how to make a Chromebook forget a Wi-Fi network so that it will never automatically connect to it again, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video right here.